Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Grade 11 Functions class. This is 5.5 .5, Trigonometric Identities. So the first thing I want to do is define an equation versus an identity. These both actually have equal signs, which is why we need to differentiate them. An equation is sometimes true, sometimes true, as in something like, you know, x plus 1 is equal to 5. So that's usually something that we want to solve. And um, so we know that we can just put any old x in there. We'd have to find a specific x to make this true. Uh, we know that if we solved it, x equals 4. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, and that makes it true. But if we tried, you know, 2 plus 1, that's not equal to 5. So it's only sometimes true. An identity is always true. So we might get something like 2x over 2 equals x. So we know that no matter what we put in for x, it will always be true, and we don't have to worry about, um, we wouldn't worry, have to worry about solving it. All right, so we're going to prove some identities right now, and then we're going to be able to use the identities to prove new identities, more complex identities. Um, and we're going to start by using definitions. We can always use definitions to prove things, but once we've established some of these, it'll be much easier to use them, and you'll see as we go along. So the first way I'm going to do that, there's two ways I like to do. The first way is going to be using this chart here. You write left side on this side and right side on this side, and then you just copy in each of the sides. So this is on the left side of the equal sign, so I'll just write it right here, tan theta. And this is on the right side of the equal sign, so I'll write it here. And I'm going to use the definitions of the identity. So I can manipulate both sides as I go, try to make them be equal on both sides. So tan theta is equal to y over x, and I can't really do anything more to that, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. Sine theta over cos theta is y over r over x over r. That's the definition of sine and cos. Sine is y over r, and cos is x over r. So we can just play around with that. This is y over r divided by x over r, or in other words, y over r times r over x. And you can see that my r's are going to cancel. So I get y over x, which is exactly what I got on the other side. So y over x equals y over x, left side equals right side, and I am done. So that's my proof. For the next one, I'm going to do it in a different method. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. We're just going to choose one of these sides and write it out. So the left side is what I'm going to choose. It's because it's the more complicated side. You usually want to you know, mess around with one of the sides. So you choose the more complicated side. You can do more with it. And we're going to try to go in one straight line down to make this equal to 1. This is a little bit more elegant than the other way. The other way, you just try to force them into being the same thing. Here, we're going to use a little bit of finesse. And in math, finesse counts, okay? So if it's elegant, it's definitely worth more points. Um, so we're going to try to use elegance as much as possible. So in this case, we're going to, again, use the definition. So sine squared theta is y over r squared and cos squared theta is x over r squared. And we're going to just put these squareds in there. So this makes uh, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, over r squared, sorry. So x squared plus y squared actually is equal to r squared, which is why I just said that by accident. Um, if you draw the original, uh, you know, Cartesian plane by which we define um, sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta, we know that this side is going to be y, and this side is going to be x, if this point is x, y, and that we have the radius r. So by Pythagorean theorem, we can see that y squared, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So I can replace that right here, r squared over r squared, um, and that is equal to 1 which is exactly what I wanted, so the left side is equal to the right side. And you'll notice that I've got this side work on the side, and you can just, you know, draw a little box around it to make sure that, you know, it's a side note. You don't want to draw it right in the middle of your proof. You should keep it nice and neat. You'll also notice that I'm showing a lot of steps here. That's because when we're proofing, it's like writing an essay. You just want to show them all the steps and help them to follow along with you as you go. Okay, because you're really, it's really about communicating to your viewer or reader. So you might want to pause the video right now and try example C and example D on your own. I'm going to prove both of these using left side, right side proof instead of using the chart. So why don't you pause the video right now and you can do that. Okay, as for me, I'm going to continue. I'm going to start with this left side. We also know that cot theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. And we know that cosec theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. 
So I might use these in my proof just to make life a little bit simpler. I'm going to start with the left side because it's a little bit more complicated. So again, you have to write out the original before you go anywhere. We're going to try to get to cosec squared theta. And we know that cos squared theta is 1 over tan squared theta. There we go. And I also know that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So I'm going to use that definition. So I'll get 1 plus 1 over sine squared theta over cos squared theta. So this gives us 1 plus cos squared theta over sine squared theta. That's how you use the compound fractions. And so I'm going to change this 1 into sine squared theta over sine squared theta. And I'll leave this alone. And you can see I now have the same denominator. So, and if you run out of space, you can always just grab it and move it up here. I'll just put this off to the side. So now I have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta over sine squared theta. From the previous question, I know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1, so this is 1 over sine squared theta. And sine squared theta, 1 over sine squared theta is actually equal to cosec squared theta, which is my right side. So the left side is equal to the right side. And usually we end off with something like this, a little squiggle, or you can do like um, a box. Some people write QED. It's up to you. But it's just a little victory dance at the end of our proof to show that we have done it. In our last question, we're going to use phi. So you can see that this side is less complicated than this side, so I'm going to choose the right side. Right side is equal to sine phi plus sine squared phi over cos phi times 1 plus sine phi. And so now I can see that I can common factor a sine phi out, so I'm going to do that. Sine phi times 1 plus sine phi over cos phi times 1 plus sine phi. And now that I've common factored that out, I can cancel them, so I'm going to actually get sine phi over cos phi. And by the definition that we found before the other identity, we know that sine over cos is tan, so tan, that's tan phi. And this is the left side, so the left side on this side and right side, the right side is equal to the left side, and we're done. Okay, so just a few techniques that we used. We used um, the definitions to find the proof. We also used other identities that we've established before to find the proof. We had a chart, or we could do left side, right side. Oops. Left side, right side. And you'll notice that I have used factoring in order to help me to find the answer. And if you look at this page, if you want, you might want to print this out. These are the identities you're allowed to use to prove other identities. If you want to use an identity, you do have to have it previously established. So these are the ones that we are allowing you to use. Um, and you should n definitely memorize these. The more we practice, the more likely you are to memorize them. Um, so we, these are by definition true. Um, we proved, we proved this one. We proved this one, and we proved this one. You might want to prove this one on your own, just as practice, and then come to class and bring your questions. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.